So yesterday, Luca Connell signed for Celtic. They're a massive club. They've got loads of fans. Why don't I just sit down and talk about the player, show him some highlights, show him what he could do and how good he can become. Now, if I made this video yesterday, I would have been pissed off. You would have seen a very angry type of Thogden. But today, I've had time to assess the situation. When you actually do think about it, it's a big move for him, um, for his family. And see, when you get a team like Celtic coming to buy you, you don't say no. So yesterday, for around 350,000, Luca moved from Bolton Wanderers to Celtic FC. Now, Bolton Wanderers, at the moment, we've just received good information with our new ownership. However, we've got a 12-point deduction. We've got about seven players, and we're in League One. While Celtic are playing Champions League football. So, from his perspective, I can understand why he made the transfer. What can he bring to the team? What can he offer? He's a central midfielder. Um, he, he played at some points more of like a box-to-box -box kind of midfielder for Bolton. But he can also play left mid. He can play left back. He's got a very good left foot. Um, Philippe Moraes compares him to Nedved, right? He's got a beauty of a left foot. He can whip a ball in down the left side. His first senior start at 17. What a ball in for Beavers. He can play central midfield. When he wants to get stuck in, he can. We saw against Ipswich Town last season where they actually beat us, but I thought Luke O'Connell was a standout player. There are a lot of Bolton players last year. When they weren't getting paid, they turned their heads. Luke O'Connell was one of those players who kept playing. He still put in top performances throughout. Some would argue that's because he wanted to impress other football clubs, and that could be the point. But I just think he loves the game, and he's been with Bolton since the age of 11. He is a scouser. That's why a lot of Celtic fans were surprised when they heard his voice. Um, when he was spotted in Celtic on the VIP tour, everyone kind of knew it was a done deal. However, one thing I do recollect from Luke O'Connell is he's quite injury prone and he did get a few injuries last year with Bowen. Luke O'Connell has gone for four year contract. Now, if he is to get game time and be played in a position that he can excel in, he can become, he can go right to the top. Like we've seen players like Van Dyke go through Celtic and prove themselves to the top Premier League sides. Look, all I'm saying is there is a reason that Ireland wanted to get their cap in very early on. And I can see him going all the way to the top. He's great with the ball at his feet. He's a flair player. He's got skills to him. Um, he can take on players. He's brave. He's not afraid of anyone. Uh, I remember seeing him take on against Bristol City. He took on Casey Palmer like he was never there. Quite a lightweight player, but he's not afraid to go sliding in. And we saw against Ipswich Town. Uh, although we lost the game, he was standout. There aren't too many highlights of him because he played 12 games for Bolton and most of them we lost. If he can get the game time at Celtic, that man will go right to the top. And I know a lot of people are looking for highlights of him. Now, Celtic as a club are very big. Um, I went to Celtic versus Zenit last year, Europa League. The fans at Celtic's ground, at Celtic Park, were very loud. Um, 60,000 fans cheering your name. I can understand why Luke O'Connell took the deal. Uh, it is... It's big. Uh, I, I'm sure if you've watched my Celtic Zenit vlog, you'll understand, you know, they create a really good atmosphere, especially on European nights and obviously in their derby against Rangers. Um, they really do create an atmosphere. It's a scary place to go for uh, away teams and Zenit clearly were scared and couldn't ha hang on when Zenit conceded that last minute goal from, I think it was McGregor. <laughs> Here we go. Scott is oh. over. Surely. So Celtic fans, you've bought a player that's got the left foot of Nakamura. He's got a lovely set piece on him. He can definitely score free kicks. He's actually quite a confident lad, but he stays quiet on social media. He plays on the left and he has a beautiful whip cross on that left side. As a central midfielder, Luke O'Connell can tackle, he can get stuck in, but he can also spot a pass. Um, and when he's playing left mid, he's, he's not got crazy amount of pace, but... He can cross from deep and whip in some great crosses, as we saw against Bristol City when he got that assist. I wish him the best. I'm sure I'll come watch him sometime next year. He's a top player. 
and I really hope Celtic make the most of him. Uh, I'd hate to see wasted talent of him on the bench. That's the one thing. You better play him, guys. You better play him. Subscribe, Celtic fans, if you want to watch more content and find out more uh, about how Bolton do next year. My next video will include my Instagram, which is at Thogden. So if you want to get a shout out or a follow back, go on there, follow me. The rest is history. See you all later. Celtic fans, enjoy Luke O'Connell. See you guys.